Johnny Depp vs. The Sun, Rebecca Vardy vs. Colleen Rooney, and many others are special types of legal cases brought to court to protect reputation from some defamatory and damaging statement. But what exactly is defamation, libel and slander, and how does defamation law work? In probably the biggest English libel trials of the 21st century, the Royal Courts of Justice in London was the centre of the Johnny Depp libel case. The actor in films like Pirates of the Caribbean claimed newsgroup newspapers, or NGN, which publishes The Sun newspaper, libeled him in a published article in April 2018 entitled Gone Potty, How Can J.K. Rowling Be Genuinely Happy Casting Johnny Depp in the New Fantastic Beasts film? In short, Johnny Depp claimed the article was defamatory to say he was a wife beater concerning allegations made against him by his former wife Amber Heard. He said the Sun's article caused him huge damage to his reputation and lost him lucrative film parts. On the other hand, NGN and its executive editor defended its article as true, relying on 14 alleged incidents of domestic violence claimed by Amber Heard. Now, not only did Johnny Depp vigorously deny each of the allegations, he also claimed he was a victim of Amber Heard's abuse. And so, for three weeks in the summer of July 2020, highly personal, graphic and at times shocking details about the former couple's private lives played out in open court, with both Hollywood stars clashing, giving their differing accounts of events whilst their respective legal teams undertook robust and intense cross-examination aimed at undermining their opponent's case and key witness testimony. It certainly made for a sensational courtroom drama and its daily reports a distraction from the worldwide coronavirus pandemic. In summary, libel, which is what the Johnny Depp libel case was about, is part of defamation law and is basically defined as a defamatory statement or untrue statement published and is in writing, print or some other permanent form. Where a defamatory statement is made publicly, orally or published in some transient form, this is slander, like a neighbour shouting paedophile to another neighbour on the street. To win a defamation case, a person needs to meet the test that the statement was defamatory and the publication has caused or is likely to cause serious harm to the reputation of the person. And in the Johnny Depp libel case, the actor aimed to prove the court that the Sun's headline had caused serious damage to his reputation and would continue to do so if he was not vindicated in a court of law. One of the most interesting points to know about UK defamation law is it doesn't matter where a person lives in the world to bring a defamation case. What matters is that the alleged defamatory statement was published in the UK as in the Johnny Depp case where the Sun's article was published. Don't be surprised also if Johnny Depp doesn't pursue round two of another defamation case in the US where similar allegations have been made against him. It's important to know that while anyone can sue for defamation, defamation court battles are notoriously very expensive. Reportedly Johnny Depp is paying £1 million in legal fees. Now, not every defamation case is that expensive. But let's be clear, not everyone has the financial capabilities to fund a defamation case, including the financial risks of losing one. But some lawyers take on defamation cases, especially the ones they believe are strong, that is, in their client's favour, on a no-win, no-fee basis, because they assess they're going to win the defamation case and recover their legal costs from the other side. Now, Online accusations made on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook and any other social media site are also published statements and can end up in very expensive defamation cases. For example, Rebecca Vardy, married to Leicester City Football Club's Jamie Vardy, libel action, claims Colleen Rooney, married to former England captain Wayne Rooney, falsely accused her on Instagram of giving journalists stories about Miss Rooney's private life. Both parties have reportedly spent upwards of hundreds of thousands of pounds on their respective legal teams. In defamation cases, once a defamatory comment is alleged, generally the burden is then on the party who is accused of damaging someone's reputation, that is the publisher, to defend the words they used. There are several ways to defend a claim for defamation in England. 1. The statement was true. 
This was, in essence, the Sun's defence in publishing its article against Johnny Depp, using Amber Heard's evidence. 2. The statement was an honest opinion based on an analysis of the facts. A defence for online reviews of films to books accused of unfair criticism. 3. The statement is protected by some kind of privilege, like an MP calling a fellow MP a liar in a debate in Parliament. 4. The statement was an innocent dissemination, which would protect a radio station from being sued when a phoning guest unexpectedly shouts out something highly defamatory. And 5. The statement was a responsible publication, even if the facts weren't entirely correct, but was in the public interest. In England, the timescale to sue is within one year of the publication. In other parts of the world, like Scotland, it's three years from the last download, which effectively means there's in effect no deadline at all. There are five possible ways a defamation case can come to an end. One, the claimant gives up before the case gets to trial because it's just too risky. They may lose or it's too expensive. Two, the person injured, the claimant, accepts an apology or public clarification from the defendant. Three, there's an out of court settlement, sometimes subject to a non-disclosure agreement on any compensation to the claimant. Four, at trial the publisher, that's the defendant, loses and pays compensation and cost to the injured person, that is the claimant. And five, at trial, the person who brought the case, the claimant, loses and potentially pays out a huge legal bill to the defendant. Where a defamation case proceeds to trial, it's incredible to think about who decides the case. It's not the legion of fans or supporters of the actors involved or readers of newspapers or online reporters or even a jury, but one judge who decides who wins and who loses a defamation trial. In the end, when it comes to high profile defamation cases with almost obsessive daily coverage of graphic and shocking allegations and counter allegations, like the Johnny Depp libel case, it's arguably impossible for anyone, including witnesses involved, to come out with one's reputation intact and undamaged. Thank you for watching. Please speak to a solicitor if you need specialist legal advice. Please subscribe to Community Legal Education to be the first to watch our short legal video explainers. Please share this video and may the justice be with you.